Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from Springtail Barrel Room. These guys are up in Massachusetts. This is their Brigadero. And it is an oatmeal stout coming in at 7.5%, I think. This was sent to me by my brother Greg, and he writes, Springdale is an experimental offshoot of Jack Abbey's Brewing, and I've had some of their beers. Uh, they make some awesome, awesome beers at Jack Abbey's. He said he's had some of their beers and been fairly impressed with them. They tend to focus on sours. He said his buddy Rob picked this up at the package store and contributed this one to the shipment. Hope you get some more from this place in the future. So Rob, thanks again, my brother. I do appreciate it, sir. You spending your hard-earned money on this beer and getting it to Greg to ship to me. Uh, thank you. I do appreciate it, sir. Uh, I cannot get the Springdale beers here. Uh, so, uh, hopefully this is the final beer of the evening for me. It's going to be a very tasty one, and I hope it gets to 10. On the bottom of it, it says canned on, ooh, 0416 of 18. So, this was done in in April, April 16th of 2018, and today is uh, July the 12th of 2018, so you can do the math, four, five, six, seven, not quite three months in the can, but this is a uh, uh, stout, uh, but it's not a huge stout, seven and a half percent, I think that's what it has on the can. Uh, I don't understand why these people write dark writing on a black label. It doesn't make any sense to me. Yep, 7.5%. doesn't have the, uh, it says drink fresh. And I don't know why it would say that unless it's got some coffee or something that's going to fade over time. But they are calling it a breakfast stout. So maybe it does have some coffee in it. Uh, so, uh, not quite three months old. If it does have coffee in it, you want to drink it fresh, guys, because the coffee will fade over time. Uh, and we've read everything that he has written, so let me mark this off of his sheet here so that I know that I have done it. I'm not searching for it later on. And let's get on with this. Uh, let's step over to Untapped and see what they say. Uh, they don't have the IBUs. It says Brazilian Coffee... Uh, cocoa oats and milk sugar so they've used lactose in this and it looks like they've done coffee so you do want to drink this as fresh as possible to get them big coffee notes uh coffee fades just like hops does guys uh, so you want to drink it fresh uh so that's it for that and that's it for this and we have no ibus on this one so it is time final beer of the evening like i said we're going to pop the top here and get it into the glass. And why I pour this, I will tell you that food pairing says cheese of the earthy, Camembert, Fontina, general chocolate dessert, meat, shellfish, smoked meat, glass of water, pint, back of night, tumbler mug, sign, sidel. I'm using my favorite tulip glass today, guys. I'm not recommended for extended salary. So. Got a little bit left in the can. We'll do the back end pour before I go off camera. About a quarter finger of head. And guys, it is pitch black. It looks like a stout. Let's get it to the nose. Ow. Roasted malt. 
get a nice sweetness from the lactose on the milk chocolate part. That was very nice. A little bit of coffee on the nose. Maybe some caramel, toffee, black molasses. It smells very nice. It smells very nice. I don't know if I'd want to drink a 7.5% for breakfast unless it's a weekend. You don't have to work. You would not want to drink a 7.5% and, and go to work. It smells very good. Uh, I am getting that nice sweetness. From the lactose they've used and I'm getting a little bit of coffee in there too so maybe the coffee is going to be more prominent in taste than it is in the aroma it's cold right out of the fridge so let's dive in cheers everybody cheers Greg yes more coffee in the taste than I was on getting out on the nose very smooth very easy drinking. A nice sweetness to the beer. That's very nice. Most definitely, that's very impressive. That's very, very nice. Well made beer. Alcohol is non existent. Very smooth. Very, very smooth beer. When they do lactose in a stout or a porter or a darker beer like this, it gives you that sweetness because lactose is an unfermentable sugar. Uh, it, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't let the yeast eat all that up and you have a super dry, bitter beer. It, it, it keeps that sweetness to the beer. That is very nice. That is very, very nice. Well done. A great final beer of the evening. And guys, it's got the ABV on the can. It's got the date on the bottom of the can. So uh, we got the two things we need. Uh, the IBUs are not super critical, uh, especially nowadays with their different brewing styles, with the New England style and other styles. Uh, and I've explained this to you before. Uh, you might have one brewery that does a 50 IBU beer and one beer company that does a uh, 70 or 80 IBU beer. And it's actually theoretically possible that the 80 IBU beer would be less bitter than the 50 IBU beer. So the IBUs are not as critical as they used to be, depending on the brewing style that they use. So very nice beer, guys. So it's time. Uh, this is right out of the fridge. I'm going to let her taste it and go down on the deck and fire up a stogie to go with this nice dark beer. And we'll come back and see where it ends up. Alright guys, I'm back. Got uh, just a little left here. Nice tasty beer. Nice breakfast style if you will. Not the best breakfast style I've ever had. Uh, decent beer. It's got the ABB on the can. It's got the data on the bottom of the can. Uh, I don't think it's a 10 beer to me guys uh, I do think it's an A beer and that's where I'm going to put it A minus for me on this one guys uh, 92 is where I'm putting this one uh, decent beer I enjoy this coffee notes nice sweetness to it Ridge your roasted malt <clears throat> maybe some uh, black molasses caramel toffee not a lot of dark fruit or anything like that in the beer, but a nice, easy drinking, sweet stout. So, final choke. Very nice beer. Very nice final beer of the evening, which it is for me. But like I said, it's not a tin beer, guys. Ninety-two for me, guys. Uh, a minus. Over to Beer Advocate, they say four point one two exceptional. That's in their A minus range, also. And for our final check-in, we run over to Untapped. They have it at four point zero four, also in their A minus. So it's A minus from everybody, guys. It's unanimous. Decent beer. Decent beer. Not outstanding. Not world class. 
Uh, I do appreciate them putting the date on the bottom of it. Uh, be a good beer to have on the weekend if you didn't have to work on a Saturday or a Sunday. You wouldn't want to drink this and go to work. That's where I'm going to put that. Uh, I liked it. I would probably buy this beer if I could get it here. So, uh, I've had better, I've had worse. Uh, let's run over to uh, Beer Advocate. Like I said, they said 4.12, exceptional. Uh, hmm, that's stretching a little bit for me, and I'd have to have it at 4.04. Uh, a minus from everybody, guys. That's where I'm going to put this. If you've had this one from uh, uh, Springdale Beer Company, this is the Brigadero. Nice beer. Decent beer. I enjoyed this. So, Greg, thanks again, my brother. I do appreciate you spending your hard earned money on this. Or, or Rob uh, contributing to the package. Nice uh, beer. Nice beer. I did enjoy it. So, uh, with that being said, guys, if you've had this one from Springdale, this is their Brigadero, uh, milk stout, uh, an American stout, brewed with lactose, uh, a little bit of coffee in there. Very nice. I enjoyed it. So, uh, if you had, let me know what you think. Until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.